Now that the hard part is done, we can finally win our level. So open the object hatch, and the way we're going to check and see if the level is complete is by determining how many of these hatch objects are left on screen. When the object junk is in proper position, we are having this object be replaced by an open hatch and destroying itself. So what we'll do is check and see if this is the final hatch on screen, and if it is, then all other objects must be in position and the player has won. So come over to control and we will test instance count. Drag that in between the two actions here. And we are going to check and see if object hatch is equal to one, because this will be the final hatch on screen. I'm going to drag some blocks underneath it, and this is where I'm going to have all the pilots of junk on screen destroyed. So come to main one, destroy instance, drag that into the blocks, and we will apply it to the object, object junk. As soon as that is done, this object will destroy itself, leaving only the open hatches. So it, it will appear as though the hatch has opened and the junk has fallen into it. So let's go ahead and close this, and we'll add a few more hatches to the level. So open up the room, and pick out our hatch object. To make it easy, I'll just put it right beside the junk piles, close that, and run the game. Okay, push that one on, that one, and finally this one, and it should get rid of everything. And there it is. Thing is though, I can still move around the level now that it's completed. And there's also the possibility that we might push a pile of junk into a corner and not be able to move it. So we'd be unable to complete the level. We need to set up a way to reset the level if that happens. So let's reopen the object player. And we are going to create a variable that will determine whether or not the game is finished. So come to control, set variable, let's set that above the change sprite, and I will call this global.gameOver. I'll give it a value of false. So if the game is over, we don't want the player to be able to move. So first we're going to have to check and see if this global game over variable is false. So let's come to our left event, and up at the top we will add a test variable. We will test for global dot game over being equal to false. I'm going to drag some blocks around all these other actions. Then I'm just going to copy this top one and come to the up event, paste it, drag some blocks, come to the right, paste, surround it with blocks, and down, paste, surround with blocks. So now we can only move when this game over is set to false. While we're here, let's go ahead and set up our restarting mechanism. We'll keep it simple and just make it that when you hit the R key, it will reset the room. So at event, come to keyboard, and all the way down in letters, we'll then come over and select R. So this is simple, we'll just come to main one and find our restart room. But we should probably only have this active when the game has not been completed, because otherwise there could be a bug where the player will complete the level, and then if they decide to hit the R key, they'll reset it. That's not really a big deal, but we probably don't want it to happen. So at the top here, I'm just going to paste in the global game over equal to false test. So now this R key will only be active when the game is not over. So now that that's in place, we need to make it so this global game over variable can actually turn to true. So close the object player and reopen the object hatch. And down here where we are testing to see if this is the last hatch on screen, right underneath our destroy instance of the junk, we will come to control and set a variable. That variable will be global dot game over and we'll set it to true. So now when we test the game, when we complete it, we should not be able to move. So let's test the game. And now, if I complete it, I can no longer move. Let's go ahead and close this and try it again. So this time, if I get the junk into a corner, I can't do anything with it. Same with this one. I can't complete the level, so I will hit the R key, and everything's reset. 
and once again if I complete the level the R key does nothing. So we've completed all the core mechanics of our game but in a puzzle game, especially a Sokoban game, there are many different levels. So now we should look at getting a title screen, a menu select screen, and polish up the completion of a level so that we get a little something telling us that we've won that will allow us to continue on in the game.